This is a knee scooter. It is an assisted device that allows people who would normally use crutches because their foot or ankle injuries to maintain their hip strength. There is just one problem. There is very little instructions on how to adjust the knee scooter. The only instruction on how to adjust the knee scooter is to make sure the handlebars are at the height of your waist and that the seat should be at a comfortable height. So for most people, they pull the handlebars up to their waist height and they start scooting around. What they don't tell you is that if the knee scooter seat height is too high, it hikes up the hip of the leg that is resting on the seat. This puts more pressure on the hip and the side of the waist that is on the seat. And it also puts more pressure on the foot and ankle that is on the ground. On the other hand, if the seat of the knee scooter is too low, it forces you to bend the knee which puts more pressure on that knee as well as more pressure on the foot and ankle that is on the ground. Suppose that you broke your foot or ankle and you're using this knee scooter. You use it to go to the bathroom, to the kitchen, you use it to go to class, or you use it to go to work. You end up scooting around on this device all day. You're constantly pushing off of your good leg. This repetitive movement becomes a constant increased pressure on your hip and your ankle. And this turns into irritation and even pain. Originally, this device was made to imitate your walking movement. So if the height is adjusted properly to your size, it should be very comfortable. And since this knee scooter was created to be an extension of your leg, it makes sense that you want the height of the seat to be approximately equal to the height of your knee. The best way to make sure that the seat of the knee scooter is at the proper height is to stand in front of a mirror with your knee scooter. This way you can check to see if one of your hips is hiked up while your knee is resting on the seat of the knee scooter. If one of the hips is hiked up, you will just adjust the seat until the hips become even. If the hip on the side of the seat is hiked up, you will lower the seat until the hips are even. If the hip on the side of the leg that is on the ground is hiked up, you will raise the seat until the hips are even. In conclusion, if you are using the knee scooter, make sure you adjust not only the handlebars but also the seat to the proper height according to your size. And if you know someone who's using the knee scooter, share this video with them. They'll thank you for it.